What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited for the video because I'm going to be reviewing Hailey Bieber's 7 Days 7 Looks with Vogue. Now this is something I've never done on my channel before but I'm really excited. Maybe I might do a couple more of these in the future because I know Ashley Graham is also one of the Vogue's uh, seven day seven looks so I will also be reviewing hers as well if you guys would like me to do that but today is all about Hailey Bieber's chic street style which I absolutely love this girl can pull off heels and sweatpants with a sweatshirt all day and it's unfair <laughs> Anyway, if you guys like my videos, please hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up at the end if you liked it, and leave a comment on anything else you'd like to see in the future. So, let's get on with the video. Okay, so it looks like she has a lot just on the home screen. It looks like she has a lot of variety between jackets, dresses, maybe pants, and I'm seeing a lot of purses to her left. I assume that she has a lot of shoe options as well, so let's watch. Hi Vogue, it's Hailey Bieber. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what I wear in a week. Cute, pink. Monday. Okay, so this is See, my what did I tell you? This girl can pull off sweatpants and a sweatshirt. This Literally. is definitely something I would love to fly in or maybe for even a long road trip. Also, look to at start, her beaver purse. I wouldn't be in hotel. I kind of want one. So, I'm going to take these Nike SBs, fold those up like that. Love. Cool love and that. I'm going to put it with. Add some cool, color like, to her sweatpant look. From La Mer. I love a really long sleeve on a coat. Um, yeah, everyone needs, I love this everyone needs one of these. Like a uh, oversized blazer trench coat kind of situation. Inside. Perfect. Matches everything. Oh, that was it. No accessories? So, <gasps> this look for me is more of a, like a New York style look when it's... Okay. The vinyl pants. I love vinyl pants, don't get me wrong, but I kind of think now, I mean, I know this video was filmed in 2020, um, but now in 2021, I feel like the vinyl pant is kind of going out of style. We're kind of leaning more towards the matte leather pant now in 2021, but I don't know. I mean, I still love the vinyl pant. I think the vinyl pant looks great, especially the slim skinny pant that she has on. I think it looks really chic. You can dress it up, dress it down. So let's move on with the video and see what she does with these. I love these Margiela pants. I've had them for a long time. I love the way that they fit. This Pulling is off every single look in the world with the pants. I love that. Bottega Veneta sweater. I feel like I'm gonna be able to have this sweater for 20 years and it's never gonna go out of style. That is so true. I feel like everyone has to have their staple sweater in their wardrobe that they just are able to wear all the time. Like if it doesn't have too much wear and tear or if it's like pilling that you can easily take off with one of the little shaver things, like by all means, keep your sweaters, your good quality sweaters as long as you can. That's why I say like whenever I invest in a sweater, I don't want something that's cheap that's going to unravel look dingy after a while or start pilling a lot in certain areas where it rubs on like jackets or under the arms sometimes like I feel like sweaters can rub under the arms easily and pill um so yeah it's definitely a good idea to have a good staple sweater that's your go-to all the time I'm going to do this really cool red Saint Laurent coat <sighs> me trying to get things off the rack without knocking a million things over. So I am obsessed with this coat. I'm it's obsessed with it too. Coat of the season. I'm gonna go with these Alexander Wang heeled booties. Love. <laughs> <laughs> the sound that those pants make, so uncomfortable. So uncomfortable. But also if you wear vinyl pants, I have a little hack for you. You rub a little Vaseline in between, like, in between your, 
it sounds so weird. You rub a little Vaseline in between your legs where your legs might rub and it'll keep them shiny. It'll keep them from rubbing and making that weird plastic sound whenever you walk. But it, yeah, it's a good little hack and it works. I love how those shoes are fitted on the ankle too because the pants are kind of a little bit longer and baggy at it's the bottom. The sound of the pants. That's the one thing about this material is it's a little bit loud, especially if you like sit down in them or sit on like a leather seat and you're just like, it's just the pants, I swear. And I'm going to pair it with this YSL bag. I love this necklace in general. I'm just not sure if I want it with this outfit, but I think I like it with this for sure. When I was buying this coat, I Okay, so her look, she has a lot of gold accents on the bag and then her jewelry, but her shoes, if you notice, have like that silver on the toe. Totally fine. Your feet are far away enough from your bag and your neck, ears, and stuff like that where your jewelry are, where your jewelry is, <laughs> that it makes sense. It works. I decided to go up two sizes just to first of all feel cozy, but second of all, when you're trying to put sweat. I love this and look. I love it. Them, so the red, perfect. So, the necklace, perfect. The pants, necklace. perfect. So good. Wednesday. So this is my okay, girl. Kind of day to night look, and these pants are my like favorite thing of the season. Oh, they look like leggings. The brand Kate, which I really, really love. I just love the way that they fit. I love the length of them. I love the little split at the side so you can wear them. Okay, lucky her. If you have a smaller chest, this is definitely something that you can pull off a little bit better. If um, you have like a, lar a bit of a larger chest like I do, definitely if you want to wear an outfit like this, find something that suits you for your chest. Find a nice little bra, bralette, something that holds you really, really well because honestly, anybody can pull this outfit off if you really, really want to. By all means, work it, girl, if you want. But um, for her, obviously, she has like a bralette that's a little bit more low cut because she has a smaller chest. But like I said, if you have a larger chest, find something that suits you, that's comfortable for you to wear a look just like this with a flat shoe and they're flattering or you could wear them with a heel. I love the split hem on the pant as well. I also love it whenever it's like in the front too. Don't kill me, I mispronounced it. I wear a lot of blazers. I think blazers are an essential. Blazers are always a staple. Really good staple black one or gray one or neutral so colored one. So cute. This is from Magda Bertram. <gasps> this one you can see kind of comes in at the Ooh. waist. Cinches here is a little bit more flattering. I'm gonna pair it with these white Tom Ford heels. Love. I think a little pop of white. I think it's super cute. See how like the open ankle on the pants with the heel really like elongate her legs because the material, obviously because she's wearing a heel, the material on the pants hangs a little bit longer, like whenever she was standing on her flat feet. But whenever she put the pants, I mean the heels on with the pant that is a little bit longer, it really elongated her legs. But you can also see some skin as well, so it also helps elongate your legs. I think I would go with Probably accessories. White jock I'm gonna have that. Like pop of white and a pop of white together. So good. So good. Very neutral. And if you wanted to, like, if you wanted to recreate that look yourself and add a colored bag or like colorful accessories, things like that, that would be totally, totally fine because, you know, everything else was very neutral. I even think that look would be cute with like a pink heel, a gold heel, something colorful if you don't want to be like too neutral. <gasps> so Ooh. this is my date night look and I went with a cute little black like dress. corset I mini dress, go -to for any type little black of dress. Always have to have a staple like little black dress in your wardrobe. Cool, I think it's really sexy. Let's say it was maybe chill. Drappy heels too, also elongates her legs. It doesn't cut her off. And then the scony one, it actually hits a very similar length to the dress. And I think it brings a... Okay, another thing, if you're going to be styling like this, if you're going to wear a dress with a coat, make sure that the dress is a similar length to the coat that you're wearing or vice versa. Make sure that your coat is a similar length 
to the dress that you're wearing um, just because it'll also elongate you but it won't cut you off anywhere so if you have I mean you obviously could wear a shorter jacket with a longer dress if you're gonna be wearing a mini dress and then put a coat over it definitely try and find something that's a little bit similar in length like her blazer that she has um, just because it'll again elongate you won't cut you off anywhere and it'll just look very seamless cool little edge to the outfit and since it's an all black outfit I like a little pop of color with it. Yeah. I think it's always fun to get dressed up for date night and even just get dressed up for each other and nobody else. I wouldn't say husband is too over. That's so cute. If for a daytime look you could probably even wear like a, a, a flat shoe with it as well. Make it a little bit more casual like a brunch, brunch date outfit. So this is a black Wolford bodysuit and a pair of blue jeans. I'm gonna start with this. Love a good light Zorro. wash. Another staple, you have to have a good black and gold or silver belt in your wardrobe for anything. Yep. Belt, I'm gonna put this coat with it. And this coat is from a brand called Ray. I hope I'm saying that right, and please don't be mad at me if I'm not. I'm not sure 100% about the shoes. I'm gonna try probably two different things. I'm gonna do one boot on one side. Cute. I think like enough. I love the style of the front and zipper boots these days. I think it's so cute. A sneaker on the other foot and see what I like better. I love better. the sneaker. I think I'm feeling the boots. So oh, she's feeling the boots. boots. The sneaker was really cute too. That's more casual than the boots. I use this bag a ton. I feel like it's a great everyday grab and go type of bag. I think it's really cute. I think it's, it's true. Black and gold. Can't go wrong. Practical. I like it. Also, another thing with this look, if you're trying to wear a look like this, even if the pants were a little bit more high waisted, which these ones are more of a high rise, not so much natural waist. Um, definitely find like a good comfortable black bodysuit or even a white bodysuit that fits you just right, fits you perfectly with long sleeves. I feel like it's such a good staple winter item. Um, you can wear it under dresses, you can wear it under sweaters to stay extra warm. You can style it the way Hailey Bieber did. You know, there are so many ways to wear a black bodysuit that's also long sleeve. Even if she had like a mock neck bodysuit, that would be super cute with this look as well. Even layering some necklaces and things like that. Um, one thing I'm not noticing in her seven days, seven looks is how she's styling her jewelry. Um, I think they maybe kind of just, well, no, I see here that they gave her, you know, trays of jewelry, but she kind of just keeps her normal gold hoops with like maybe two or three gold chains and then I guess obviously her wedding ring and then maybe a couple of other stackable rings but she's not really showing us any jewelry but it seems like her jewelry is pretty simple and versatile. Saturday. So this oh, is my that. casual Saturday so look and I am wearing these really cool baggy yeah, Natasha so Zinko 80s. jeans that I love. love They're them. a little bit more Tomboy. I've been photographed in these jeans quite a few times. They're my so favorite well. fit. I love these ones. I don't care to repeat them. This sweater is from Mango. It's so easy to just throw on. I love collared sweaters. It adds a little bit of fun to your white. sweater instead of Air having Force a mock neck or a turtleneck or just crew neck Pirate style jeans. sweater. I think the way you can keep something really casual, really chic is the way that you accessorize it or yes. dress it up. Because yes. it's such a casual yes. outfit. I like to elevate it with a cool bag. I particularly like this adorable little baby Prada oh, bag. I love the I baby like the Prada. Color. I know people always see me wearing a bun. I know people are tired of it, but sometimes I'm just lazy and I don't feel like doing my hair. Girl, me so, too. That, throw on a little baseball hat. Oh yeah, not, I am a voter. not necessarily like, something I would choose. And you should be too. That baseball hat, just, I don't know. Out there and vote. So important. Personally, I probably would have chosen like a white hat to go with the shoes and then kind of offset the bag. Very good. Very good. I like it. <gasps> so this is my Sunday look, and this is a look that I would do. That's my Sunday home, look. Girl, we I'm in sweatpants on people Sunday. People over, hosting Sunday dinner. 
recently decided we're gonna do a once a month pizza night at our house. I don't have shoes on right now because if I was gonna wear this at home, I'd probably just be barefoot. We have a no shoes rule in our house, which- This pink look, I love this pink look because it's almost like she's wearing pajamas, silky pajamas, obviously, but it's so elevated, like with that elongated collar, the nice little buttons, the pockets on the shirt, like, the sleeves are a perfect length length on her and it like really just gives her a shape too. It's tailored very, very well, if it is even tailored. But I love the color, very elevated, very perfect for like staying at home, having dinner with some friends in your own house. Um, say she was going to wear this to a friend's dinner at their house and have like a casual night, she probably could put like a really cute mule with it or like a little kitten heel or something like that. I think that would be really, really cute. And I do love never her been gold too jeans that she house, has. Very simple. Not like it. I like that it almost looks like pajamas, but it's a little bit more. Yeah, it looks like pajamas. I love a matching set. This one is by... So cute. I need to find one of these. Like... You know, I have my days where I, I need like this. to be a bit more girly, a bit more grown up, and then I have my days where I like to be a bit more tomboy, and I feel like this is like the opposite end of the spectrum of tomboy for me. But it looks so good. Ooh, and the slit. Thank you, Vogue. That was what I wear in a week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope maybe you were able to pick up some tips or um, inspired to try something a little bit different. I loved every single look that she put together. I think everything was just like perfect obviously for her style too. There's a lot of good staples that it looks like she uses so often. Like obviously you have to have a good staple bodysuit, a good staple blazer, a good staple pair of jeans or two in your wardrobe. She seems to have like the very relaxed tomboyish style like she said. So her pants are wide fit or straight legs so they're very loose and comfortable. Um, and then obviously you have like your go-to shoes, like the Nikes, and a black boot, or a nice strappy heel. Like, she has a lot of staple items, and it looks like her handbags are probably the most colorful thing that she uses in her wardrobe. Um, but yeah, I really, I really like her style. Thank you guys for watching my review of Hailey Bieber's 7 Days 7 Looks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Leave a comment on anything else you'd like to see. And give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video.